Now, if you've been watching our coverage of CES 2017, you'd have heard a lot of talk about OLED and also QLED. You may be wondering, what's the difference? Well, actually, quite a lot. OLED, or organic LED, is a self-emissive or self-illuminating technology. In other words, each pixel is composed of an organic compound, and when you pass electricity through it, it glows. Turn it off, and it goes black. And it goes black instantaneously. And plasma is very similar, it's also self-emissive, but there was always a slight afterglow when you shut the power to the pixel. That's not the case with OLED, which is why it's so famous for its black levels. The fact it can deliver these incredibly deep blacks means it also has a very wide dynamic range and very high contrast numbers. It also delivers a very wide viewing angle and it can deliver more accurate colors, particularly in, in darker scenes uh, in the image. So that's OLED. QLED is essentially a marketing term devised by Samsung. It's still an LCD panel with an LED backlight, either at the edge or behind the panel itself. So why the Q? Basically that stands for quantum dot. These TVs use quantum dot um, filters over the panel to deliver much higher peak brightnesses and also a much wider uh, color gamut and also to a certain extent wider viewing angles as well. Samsung use VA panels uh, which do deliver deeper blacks but they do have quite a narrow optimal viewing angle and using quantum dot does improve this although Samsung have also uh, changed the pixel structure to make the viewing angles wider as well. So those are the key differences. Uh, in terms of their strengths with OLED, the big strength is the blacks, of course, and this dynamic range and these contrast ratios, particularly with standard dynamic range content. And with quantum dot, the, the big imp improvement and the benefits really come with HDR. When you get to HDR, the quantum dot TVs can deliver much higher peak brightnesses and a very wide color gamut. So Samsung is saying that their QLED TVs can deliver at least one and a half thousand nits of peak brightness maybe as high as 2,000, and over 100% of DCI-P3 color space within Rep 2020. So, in other words, with HDR content, you're getting the full peak brightness and the complete color space as well. With OLED, you do get the full color space, but they aren't as bright. This year's generation can apparently hit about 1,000 nits in terms of their least accurate picture mode, but in terms of an accurate image, maybe looking at a peak brightness of about 800 nits. Um, so those are the key differences between two technologies. Uh, we will, of course, be reviewing both TVs. So the main champion of OLED has been LG. Um, there will be LG OLEDs this year. Also OLEDs from, from Sony, from Panasonic, and from Philips. So we're reviewing all of those uh, this year. And of course, we'll have the QLED TVs from Samsung coming in for review as well. But basically, uh, in conclusion, the differences are one is a self-emitting technology called organic LED. And the other one, QLED, is basically an LED LCD TV, as we've seen for many years now. So those are the differences. Hopefully that's helped you out. And uh, thanks for watching.